Hello everyone, welcome to SMA Vlog. I'm Shahid. Today is the day 8 of our trip from Toronto to Jasper and today we are going to explore different attractions of the town Jasper. Now we are at Mount Robson Provincial Park and also in the border of British Columbia and Alberta. So if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and if you have already subscribed this channel, welcome back. I have lots of things to share with you guys. So let's not waste time and start the video right now. Now we are at the border of Alberta and British Columbia and also from here this side is British Columbia and this side is Alberta. Uh, other than that from here the Mount Robson Provincial Park starts. There is a scenic place. There is a small pond here. Let's take a look from here. Now we are walking towards Portal Lake. It will be a 20 minutes walk. It's very easy to walk. It will take around 10 minutes to get to the lake. We didn't go all the way to the portal lake because uh, it's deep forest over there so we turn back now we are heading towards the sign of mount robson park it's just beside the road on the other side of this area this is the milestone of british columbia After exploring Mount Robson Provincial Park, we came back to the Jasper town and from there we came here. This is the Medicine Lake. Uh, it's a wonderful lake. It's just beside the big mountain and also this lake is the first lake towards Meling Lake. We are just going from one lake to another and want to watch its beauty. This place is around 25 kilometers from the town of Jasper. You can see there is a uh, sign of fire which happened during the year 2015. Other than that, it's an amazing place. This is the first viewpoint of this lake. There is another viewpoint in the middle uh, of that lake. 
from there uh, you can see only the middle portion of the lake but from here you can see the entire lake From the viewpoint of Medicine Lake, we drove to Meling Lake. Now we are at Meling Lake boat cruise location. The boats are all here. They provide a wonderful boat cruise for around an hour. It's a very informative boat cruise. They take uh, the passengers to Spirit Island and they take them there, uh, let them go out of the boat uh, for around 10-15 minutes then they bring them back again here. We are going to enjoy the beauty of this Meling Lake from the shore and then we'll go to the restaurant to have our lunch. This is the Lake House restaurant. So now we are at View Restaurant. I'm going to have some drinks. My son is going to have some dessert and my wife is going to get a salad. These are the boats that takes people to the Spirit Island and gives a wonderful boat ride at Milling Lake. We just now came back from Meling Lake. Now we are at Jasper Town, and this is the center point of Jasper Town. And now we are standing at the Jasper Railway Station. Now we are going towards this steam engine to explore and take a look. This is the famous ancient train engine. The number is written here 6015. It's so huge, and nowadays, this is really amazing to see because all the technologies has been changed. So now seeing this old technology and trying to understand how much effort they need to put before to run this big monster. It's really amazing. This is the main station building and these are the main station track. If anybody come here, they can get off from the train over here and come out of this station. So 
Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Jasper Sky Tram. <laughs> My name is John. I'm going to be your operator to the top. So the Jasper Sky Tram is what's known as a switchback or a counterbalance system. It's often referred to as a reversible tramway. There's only two cars in the system. One car goes up, the other car comes down. Now, we are not like a gondola system. We don't have many cars that go round and round. We just have the two cars going back and forth. So if you look to the right of the back window, you'll see the town of Jasper coming into view. It is in the valley floor. Its elevation is about 1,100 meters. Permanent population in Jasper, about 5,000 people. Now, when we left our lower terminal, we were at an elevation of about 1,300 meters, which is about 200 meters above the valley floor. When we arrive at the top, we'll arrive at about 2,300 meters, which is actually about 200 meters below the summit. And our traveling time from bottom to top is about seven and a half minutes. So do prepare yourselves for it. It's kind of like being on a big swing, folks. Just watch you don't lose your balance. Here we go, there's the push, and that's the release. And that's about as close as we get to a roller coaster, folks. <laughs> Just give them a little wave as they go by. Our traveling speed today is six and a half meters per second, about 23 kilometers an hour. Those trees are over 200 years old. So above the tree line, this is an alpine tundra, similar to what you'd see in parts of the north of the Arctic. Vegetation up here is mostly mosses. There's lichen, that's the black and green, sometimes orange and yellow algae that's attached itself to the rocks. And we do have wildflowers. We do try to be back into the terminal about 10 minutes before so that we make sure we uh, get you down on time. Again, just watch yourself along the door. Now watch your step getting off, folks. Enjoy your time up here. Thank you. You bet you're welcome. Thank you. You bet you're welcome. Today we took the sky tram and came up the hill at Jasper. So basically here we'll stay around two hours. We'll try to do a little bit of hiking and then will go down. So coming here is around uh, $55 plus tax, but if you can come before 10 o'clock or after 7 o'clock, then they will give you a discount and the ticket price will be uh, $43 plus tax. We can see all the lakes, especially Pyramid Lake, Patricia Lake and other lakes and the Athabasca River from here. Today the view is not very clear because of the fire happening in BC so the weather is a little bit gloomy but fortunately today is a sunny day and the temperature is very comfortable and we are enjoying. So guys this is the main station I mean uh, we landed from the sky tram here and now we are walking through this boardwalk. This boardwalk is not like uh, the boardwalk at Banff. Here the boardwalk is very limited. Now I'm walking on the gravel road. We already booked our time at 12 o'clock, so we took around two hours. But it is better to book your time. But if you come back early, you just can go and talk with them. They will excuse you in the next tram. We can see different mountains here. The spectacular view of Canadian Rockies. Going up is really scary, you need extra effort and extra energy to go there. Going down I feel like more scary because when you go down you will look in front of you the big stiff so you may get scared of falling down. We have arrived at the summit, from here we can go to the another top of the mountain. 
but we decided not to go there so this is ending point of our adventure on this mountain so take a look guys it's a breathtaking look from here here on the far we can see the landing station other than that this entire area is the flatlands and the town of Jasper is over there it's amazing mind-blowing down from the mountain it took around uh, 20 minutes yeah we took our time and came down very slowly you know and now we'll go inside after coming back to Skytram station uh, we are now trying to have some coffee they have a Starbucks restaurant on the top floor it's a nice coffee We have arrived at uh, Horseshoe Lake area. This place is around 25 kilometers from uh, Jasper towards Banff. We parked our car and now going to Horseshoe Lake. This is the Horseshoe Lake and people are basically jumping from the cliff. They are jumping on the lake. This is a channel of the lake and the main lake is in the front and this channel came inside. Before coming here, you just need to be prepared, uh, you know, for swimming and bring your stuff and, you know, Come here and jump into the water and enjoy this lake properly. <laughs> 